Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today as always. And it's a beautiful, partly cloudy day in St. Louis, Missouri today. Hope the weather's wonderful wherever you are in the world. And today's topic is a continuation of the power is within. And that's where it's at. It's within you. You just have to get in touch with it. You have to connect with that power. We all have incredible power within us. And if you don't believe that, think about this. Hitler, he had the power too. You can use that power however you want to for destructive purposes and you will reap the consequences of that or for good and you will reap the benefits of that. Hitler used that power for destructive purposes to rule the world. And look, look how many people died because of his power, because of his use of that power or misuse of that power. Millions of people, I think it's like 50 million people died. Now, how many atomic bombs or nuclear warheads would it take to kill that many people? And that all originated within him, within his mind. So, with that same power, you can use it to help millions of people instead of destroying millions of people and many things in the world that he destroyed. So, think about that. That power is within you. You can use it for good or, if you like, evil. Evil is just what we consider not to be good. When something doesn't go the way we want it to, we say it's bad. But nothing is neither good nor bad. Thinking makes it so. That's a Shakespearean quote, I believe. Okay, let's go. We are on location 266 in the ebook of The Power Is Within. And we are starting off here at There Are A Few. There are a few people who dare to be different than the masses. Don't follow the crowd. Lead the crowd. I'm guessing you're one of them, otherwise you likely wouldn't have picked up this book or be listening to this podcast. You were drawn to it by that same power within, expressed as a voice or an urge telling you that there is more to this life than what appears to be. What appears to be only appears to be because of what you believe. You don't believe what you see, you see what you believe. Think about that. You don't believe what you see. You see what you believe. When you come to, when you come to, a place where you truly believe that you can do more, have more, or be more than you currently are, and suddenly you do, you have, you are. With that true belief, you can do literally anything. But first, you have to eliminate those things that are holding you back. The power within is waiting for you to make use of it. You just have to unlock it. Look at everything today that was thought at one time to be impossible. What comes to mind first is the four minute mile. The greatest doctors had proved that if you ran faster than a four minute mile, as a human being, you would die. Your heart would explode. Your body could not physically handle it. But yet today, high school kids, thousands of people have ran faster than a four minute mile. In the same year that Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile, two or three other men also broke it. Where was the barrier? The barrier was in the mind, within the minds of men within the minds of the people. That's where the barrier was. It wasn't in anything outside. And just like anything outside begins within the mind, that's where the barriers are inside of you. You have to destroy, you have to overcome the barriers that keep you from seeing what you believe. But first you have to believe it. According to your faith, be it done unto you. Or if you like, according to your belief. You have to believe it's possible before you can achieve 
what is possible, and all things are possible. Ah, a horseless carriage? A carriage that goes without a horse? Oh, how ridiculous. Remember that one? Some of you probably don't. I mean, it was before my time also, but that's a car. When someone, I think it was, I'm not sure who invented the first car, but they thought that was ludicrous that someone could actually think about making a, a carriage, that's what they called it back then, that didn't have horses to pull it because that's what the masses, that's what most people believed or saw. They just believed what they saw. But someone else had a vision of a carriage that could move on its own power without horses pulling it. Actually with some kind of power pushing it or moving it or propelling it forward or as later on backward. People laughed at them or at whoever it was, the man that invented it. And that goes back to another thing. Who made almost all the inventions? Men did that. I hear many times that some people say that women could get by in, world, in life without men. I don't think so. And of course, men could not survive without women because if we did not have women to have children, we would eventually die out. So both men and women, we need each other. We would both die out eventually. If we did, civilization would not exist if it were not for men and women. Now we each have our roles, but that's another video. I'm getting off topic here. Okay, let's get back to the, to the book here. The power within is waiting for you to make use of it. And why aren't you making use of it? Let's see. Let's see what we can do to make use of it. Chapter four, a new journey. Many people have a difficult time with the concept of going inward, inward. Everyone wants to blame it on something out there, but everything begins within you, in your consciousness or in the group consciousness. To identify those things which are holding them back, that's okay, I have a trick to help you. In fact, even if you believe you are a pro at going within, I'd ask you to join along in this exercise. It's something that I do to this day and find great benefit in it. Grab a pen and a piece of paper and write down everything that's bothering you. What are the things that you complain about? Ah, yes, your complaints. If you can't think of any, feel free to ask your friends or your children or your wife. I'm certain they'll have a good amount for you to start with. Once you have your list, <clears throat> allow yourself to remember what it is about that particular thing that bothers you. Be as honest as you can be. The more open you are, the more you'll allow yourself to feel. And that's the critical part. Don't judge that feeling, whether it's anger, sadness, jealousy, fear. It doesn't matter. Just feel it. There are many books out there that discuss the law of attraction concept that you only have to think about a certain thing or chant about it or meditate on it and eventually it will come to you. <clears throat> there is some truth to that, but unfortunately it isn't all that helpful if you are constantly sabotaging the effort. The universe will only send your way what you send its way. If you're sending out thoughts of finding your true love but tainting those thoughts with feelings of being unworthy of that love, then what you're going to get back is going to be equally tainted. That's why we have to get those feelings out. Just thinking them won't do the trick. Your head is where they are doing all the damage in the first place. That's why we have to get them down on paper. There they are a real part of this three dimensional reality. It's different when you put something on paper and look at it. It becomes tangible, it becomes real. Rather than having these thoughts, these feelings, these emotions just flowing around in your head. When you put them down on paper, they become real, you can see them. The one we have to live and breathe in, this dimensional reality, at least for now, if you dedicate yourself to the lessons I have to share, You'll be able to rise in consciousness and supersede the, this reality, experiencing things from outside of this three-dimensional plane. 
But I digress. When you get all of your complaints down on the piece of paper, ask yourself how you feel about each one. Not how they make you feel, but how you feel about them. The fact that you have them. Most people have a difficult time at this stage. They see the long lists if they've been honest and they think they're somehow worse than other people. Don't beat yourself up. We're all carrying around more than the people around us know about. Everybody has their cross to care, their burden, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> there is a reason the world is full of bad things. We call them bad things. Killings, robberies, assaults, rapes, wars. You may even have a couple of those on your list. It's just you and the paper. No one's here to judge you. The fact that you even had the courage to write yours down and let them stare you in the face shows a tremendous amount of courage. Most people can't or won't even do that. Most people don't have written goals, much less their written defects of character, where they can look at them, where they can become tangible, where you can't just dismiss them away with another thought. It's staring you right there in the face, but that is the beginning. If you don't know you have a problem or an issue you don't like or that's hindering you, the first step is admitting you have this problem. You have to admit you have something that you want to deal with or to get rid of before you can get rid of it. So by looking at it on paper, it is an admission to you in tangible reality that you have this issue you want to deal with or something you want to become better with. Get it down on paper. What is it, less than 5% of the people have written goals? So it's important to write things down. It's a skill you have, it's a, it's a tool you can use to put something in front of you so you can see it and it becomes real, real in the manifested world of reality as we call it. You can get rid of it this way. But we will go on to that tomorrow. I got to get out of here and get to work on my other business. So smash that like button. Thanks for joining me and come and join us on our live podcast at Saturday night at 7 p.m. I'm sure there will be something there of value for you. So I'm gonna go out of here, have a great day, and thanks for joining me again. And welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you as well as my existing subscribers. See ya.